In this episode I will be removing and replacing the rotten subfloor and the leaking main water valve. The floor got rotten due to a leaking tank water heater which used to be in this location and the leaking valve will be replaced with a ball valve. I'm using a joint knife and a pry bar. The joint knife is used to preserve the existing drive wall. Without it the pry bar will damage the wall. Here you can see the damage. The subfloor is connected to joists. I will be cutting the damaged subfloor carefully. If you do it on your own, be careful not to damage the joists, which basically hold your house in place. Under the subfloor all wires and pipes reside. In some cases it can be very close to the subfloor. What I'm trying to say is that this can be very dangerous if hitting a gas or electrical wire when cutting. I'm using different tools to cause as less damage as possible. Marking where to cut the drywall to see if the water damage reached to this area as well. Using a level to cut straight lines so it will be easier to install the new drywall later on. I cut the old leaking valve and replace it with the ball bearing valve, which as I see it is more reliable and I don't have to remember lefty loosey righty tidy with it, since it has only two positions, on or off. This is the main water line which comes from the street to the house. Mr. Bublik's inspection moment. Luckily the neglected water damage didn't actually damage the joists nor the studs. What you will not see in this video is that I ventilated and didn't continue any kind of work in this area for about 3 weeks from when I replaced the main valve to let the area dry and used the black light in parallel to kill any possible mold per my wife's recommendation. She helps a lot. If you do it on your own and have pets, make sure that they are not exposed to it. In my case I just closed the door to this section of the house while the black light was on. 
After three weeks or so, I installed the subfloor. It was a little bit tricky to get around the corners, but possible. Once installed, I use the foam sealant to seal the gaps. And now I'm cutting the drywall sections. I'm using this tool for the drywall screws, super fast and has depth adjustment. Marking the location of the studs. Oh, the video is about to end, so uh, time taken, total of 4 weeks, cost for materials around 150, cost for materials and tools around 1500. Thanks for watching!